I'm Dr. James Marsden, RGS Executive Director of Science and Technology. I want to give you some insight today on PHI and newly emerged COVID variants. During the initial stages of the COVID pandemic, RGF conducted studies with Innovative Bioanalysis, an independent research laboratory to determine the effectiveness of the PHI technology at inactivating SARS-CoV-2. This is the virus that was the cause of COVID-19 when the pandemic originated in late 2019. The results of these studies showed that PHI inactivated more than 99.9% .9 of the virus on surfaces and in air only testing. Previous independent testing also documented the effectiveness of PHI on other harmful viruses, including avian influenza, H1N1 influenza, hepatitis, and norovirus. In every case, PHI was effective at inactivating these pathogenic viruses. Since the origins of the pandemic, other variants of the virus have emerged, including the Delta variant and the Omicron variant. The US CDC states, and I'm quoting now, viruses constantly change through mutation, and sometimes these mutations result in a new variant of the virus. Some variants emerge and disappear, while others persist. New variants will continue to emerge. We know that viruses will continue to change through mutation, and this raises questions about the original studies on SARS-CoV-2 and whether they apply to variant strains. The simple answer is yes, they do. The same mode of inactivation that was shown to be effective on SARS-CoV-2 will apply to variant strains. PHI creates gaseous hydrogen peroxide, which inactivates microorganisms, including viruses, primarily by the oxidation of proteins and the breakage of nucleic acids. This results in irreversible physical damage to viral particles. Another example of chemical oxidation and inactivation of harmful bacteria in viruses is Clorox bleach. It worked 100 years ago, it works now, and it will work 100 years from now. The reason that oxidation chemistry is so effective is that microorganisms cannot build resistance to the physical damage it causes. Since gaseous hydrogen peroxide acts to physically inactivate viral particles using oxidation, it will also inactivate variant strains in the same way as was documented in the SARS-CoV-2 studies.